Hi, welcome back. This is Stan. Well, I thought this week we would build one of these trucks. Comes as a kit from One Inch Railroad Supply. Let me get a little close up here. And you have to do some prep work, no machining, but you got to get these parts ready to assemble. So that's our project this week. If that sounds interesting, I hope you can join me. Well, let's take a look at some of the parts here. The wheels and axles, obviously. And you can see, typically these are made for four and three quarter inch gauge, but these are spaced extra wide for a five inch gauge. So we'll have two of these wheel sets. These are pretty cool. These are the journal boxes, and they've got needle bearings inside. Let me let me see if I can zoom in. Can you see those in there? They're very tiny little bearing slivers. Makes for a very smooth running axle. So those are the journal boxes. Here are the little retainers for the suspension for the springs. Speaking of which, springs. Now these are a pair of heavy duty springs and then these are normal tension. And so you have your choice of how much suspension you want. And then we've got our our two side frames and the bolster and little uh, thrust washers. So what we have to do is we have to prep the metal on these. Uh, that's a fun project to work in the shop and let me take you out back for just a second and show you the update of the right-of-way for the Crow's Nest Railroad and I'll show you why we're in the shop today. Well sorry about the shakies here but uh, I left the tripod in the shop. Just gonna go handheld here. This area here is settling in later in a couple months I'll put some pavers in there. I have the flower garden for my wife all put in. Look at the retention basin. You can see it's doing its job here. Filled with water. We'll check the rain gauge, but we've had almost two inches of water in the last couple of days here. Let's walk over here. To the right of way, the ground is really soft. There's the right of way all the way up to the gate. That is graded as best I can for right now. Take a walk here along the right of way. This will be the trestle or bridge. I'm gonna have to make it wide enough to walk on. That board will suffice for the wheelbarrow right now. So we'll come around back behind the fountain and uh, behind the citrus here. Around here my little tree I tried to transplant in the dead heat of summer which you should never do and I've actually sensing a little bit of green budding I think this tree might make it let's check the water gauge here Oof. nearly two inches of water in the last couple of days that is a lot of water for us here in the desert. Okay, so the track will come around here. If you haven't seen my last couple of videos, and it will go on way down there by the gate. All right, let's head back to the shop. So the first thing we're going to have to do is clean up the parts. When they come out of the casting, they have some flash. I don't know if you can see that. See the whole area here? 
where the journal box would go, it's all filled with this metal flashing. So we're going to have to clean this all up on all these castings. And some of our implements of destruction are going to be some files. The handy dandy rotary tool and my small Harbor Freight belt sander. Side frames look like they're done. Smooth to the touch, no rough edges. So let me start next on the supports for the springs and the journal boxes. Now you, you have to take your time with this. But as you can see, I'm not even done with my cup of coffee yet, so it doesn't take that long to just be patient and do a good job while you're at the bench. Okay, spring retainers are done. Let's attack the journals next. You notice I've been keeping these in a plastic bag. I do not want to get any filings in on those little needle bearings. So I'm going to be very, very sparing in the amount of filing that I do on these. And I'm always going to hold them with the opening down. I just don't want any metal in on the bearing surfaces. So when I'm working on these, I'll keep them in this position. In fact, I think I'm going to put some blue tape over that opening just for some added insurance. Okay, now we got to do the bolster. Okay, all the rough edges are gone. Let me do just a little bit of quick cleanup here with the vacuum and then we'll move on to the next step. This would be a great time for me just to mention that these kits come from One Inch Scale Railroad Supply and included is a very, very helpful and thorough manual set of instructions. So we're going to refer to that often. So, the, so next, let's just make sure everything roughly fits into the slots. 
I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's absolutely pouring outside. We do get some rain in the summer here in the desert. It's our monsoon season. So often at the end of the day, we could get a dust storm or a rainstorm. But uh, last year wasn't so great during monsoon, but this year it's been a bumper crop. We've had a lot of wonderful rain and that's always a blessing in the desert. Okay, I checked um, some of the smaller parts like the journals and everything seems to fit, not snug, allowing for a tiny bit of movement. And you can see the bolsters in the side frames, but it's way too tight. So we have to do a couple of things. First of all, it can't be that tight of a fit. And second, it needs to have movement. Let me grab the other set of trucks and show you what I'm talking about. The trucks need to compensate for any irregularities in the track. So you might think that you would want them really solid and stiff, but that's actually not the case. You want them to be able to sort of crawl. And I don't know if you can see how this allows me to twist. So this joint right here where the bolster meets the side frame, this needs to not only be a slightly loose fit, but it also needs to be rounded on the edges so that these side frames can rotate like this. And that will allow this to compensate for any irregularities. This is a small gauge anyway. I'm used to seven and a half and this is five inch. So it's gonna be automatically less stable. So all the more important for this to not crawl out of the rails if there's any undulation that it experiences. So our job now is to custom fit where the bolster meets the side frames on both sides. So let's get busy. It's got nice movement. There it seems to be working okay. So next I'm going to have to take both these trucks apart, clean them all up. I didn't paint the trucks on my seven and a half inch gear and I've always regretted that so I think I will maybe on our next video I will put some etching primer on here and get these ready for paint well I'll leave it at that for now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time Noah yes Lord I want you to build me an ark but I'm working on my trains right now Noah Yes, Lord. An ark it is.